folks, Northern Prepper here. Haven't done one of these payday prep videos in a long time. Went out and did some uh, bolstering to the supplies today. Costco, Walmart, all that kind of good stuff. So I thought I'd show you what we got today. Let's have a look. Grab the five of these uh, vegetable broths here. These are going to be used for a homemade vegetable soup. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing a video on how to can your own homemade soups because soups are getting stupidly expensive. Speaking of which, I picked up a couple of these little cream of mushrooms. I got five of these. They were on for 97 cents. Regular, I don't know, 279 or something stupid for these tiny little cans. I'm going to grab the five more uh, pineapple chunks here. These were $1.77. They used to be $1.47, I think, before inflation took over. And then we got five of these little uh, pizza sauces here. 97 cents a piece. You can never have enough uh, homemade pizza, especially during the apocalypse. A couple of uh, one kilogram honeys here. $7.97 a piece. And a couple of great value uh, peanut butters, $3.77 per jar. Then we've got a couple of these uh, big old five, five pound bags of carrots. These are going to be going into the uh, video tomorrow, into the homemade vegetable soup. So we just teach you how to do that tomorrow. And as well, we picked up some 30 packs two 30 packs of these uh, large eggs. These are on for $8.97 regular price here in Canada. I know eggs apparently are becoming a real issue in uh, in the States there. Let me know what you guys are paying for your eggs. We're not having any shortages here, that's for sure, so far anyways. And a bag of frozen mixed vegetables. This were like five bucks. Also going into the uh, vegetable soup for tomorrow. And then topping up some of the uh, medicals and stuff here so we got 500 uh, chewable 500 milligram vitamin c tablets from costco these were 13.99 uh large extra strength 300 tablets of ibuprofen from costco that was 12.99 i believe and then we got some random well not random i guess spices here i got uh Peppercorns, I got basil, I got uh, two Italian seasonings. These were all $1.97 a piece. And uh, some oregano leaves, also, well, this was $2.97 actually. Uh, another uh, chipotle and ancho uh, hot sauce here. These things are fantastic. They were about uh, $2.97. And I had to restock some of my fruit bars that we're uh, we've been using lately for the these are uh, three for nine dollars. So I've got uh, apple, fruits, and uh, blueberry here. So three for nine bucks for those, which is uh, that's a little expensive. They used to be like a dollar seventy nine a box. A couple of these uh, golden sugars here for the uh, stored up oatmeal I got in all the long term storage there. I have some uh, you know some brown and golden sugar and stuff for your oatmeal to flavor up. A couple of, couple of boxes of uh, onion soup mix here. We've been using this a lot, making chip dips and stuff right now. Supplies, we're getting a little low. And then we got uh, three boxes of Pop-Tarts. These were also three for $9. It used to be $2 a box. And then picked up this case 24 pack here of uh, spicy chicken uh, ramen-like noodles here. It was a uh, eight. 88 I believe in total for the whole the whole case we like those for quick little snacks and stuff there now Costco a double uh, Kirkland parchment paper I like cooking on this stuff better than uh, any uh, tin foil stuff nothing ever sticks to this and lasts uh, lasts a really long time the last box I think lasted me almost a year so that's the main table in the front here so now what I'm gonna do is I'll bring in a little closer and I'll show you what I got on the uh, the back table here. All right, now we're gonna look at the stuff on the back table here now. It's a little bit more prepping this type of stuff here. 
picked this up uh, Costco 900 pack of baby wipes for on sale for 20 bucks regular 26 now this is what you're gonna use if you get stuck in your uh, your fallout shelter for uh, weeks or a month or whatever because you might not uh, have a shower set up in your in your shelter your bunker baby wipes is what you're gonna use to clean yourself with shower down essentially this is what the military uses out in the field when they go for days and days on patrol they will just carry a bunch of wipes with them and they will clean themselves with it so fantastic thing to have in case of an emergency even if you're camping and stuff too you know you want to just quickly clean clean yourself up a little bit freshen up baby wipes to add to the collection I already got a bunch of little small packs from various other stores I've been waiting for this to go on sale for a while so finally got it for 20 bucks I'm happy as a redneck and we got a couple of puppy treats we got some uh, freeze-dried uh, beef tender sticks and some uh, chewy chicken pepperoni sticks. These are both $13.99 at Costco. Grabbed a quick little 10 pound bag of russet potatoes. This was $9. Used to be uh, $6 here. Now it's up to $9 regular price. I'll just get this out of the way. And then I picked up uh, three of these uh, 35 pound bags from Costco of uh, salmon and sweet potato dog food. Uh, the pups love this stuff, but I do not feed them this exclusively. For the simple fact is, it's proven medically that dogs will live longer if you feed them a raw food slash food diet as opposed to kibble, because these things, the nutrients are essentially almost all cooked out of them in order to keep them shelf stable. This is going to be more for the apocalypse if we're stuck in the, in the bunker here, you know, for a couple of weeks uh, until the fallout uh, loses all its radioactivity. So we got, uh, yeah, a little over 100, 105 pounds of uh, this dry dog food, which it'll do in a pinch, but you want to extend your dog's life, cook them up uh, real food. I cook them uh, ground beef, ground pork. I mix it with, uh, you know, like these frozen veggies, carrots. I, I throw in uh, a little bit of rice, some oatmeal, some uh, fresh pumpkin, not pumpkin pie filling, just pure pumpkin, just for flavor. Sometimes a little peanut butter and I make big, huge batches of it. Throw it in the freezer and they get that every morning for breakfast. And they can uh, pick at their little kibbles and stuff uh, throughout the evening or whatever. But they do not eat this as their primary food source every day. They eat more meat and vegetables that I cook for them every day. And uh, they love it and they're going to be a lot healthier for it too. Researching that I found that the oldest living dog ever recorded by a veterinarian who was on a, on a raw food slash cooked food only diet never ever touched this stuff. This dog lasted till he was 35 years old. So you can google that if you want check it out. So that's the uh, the bulk of the payday preps we got for today. I've got one more special item that is a uh, being delivered as we speak and uh, as soon as it gets here I'm going to add it to the end of this video and I'm going to talk a little bit about that and uh, show you what's uh, coming up in the future but uh, we got a video like I said I'm going to do it tomorrow is I'm going to be doing the uh, homemade vegetable soup and then I'm going to be pressure canning it and I'm going to show you how to do the whole thing from scratch start to finish We'll be back when my delivery arrives and I'll show you what I got. All right, folks, as you can see, my delivery has arrived. Two food grade 55 gallon barrels I'm going to be used for water storage. Wanted these for a long time. $54 each, $5 for shipping from the place over here where I live. Can't go wrong. And to be honest, they're bigger than I thought they'd be. Up to this point, I've been storing stuff in five gallon pails and uh, cases of water and uh, camping cooler uh, water storage bottles and things like that. I've got about 275 gallons stored in just those alone. And now that I got these and a constant supply, this guy's got hundreds, if not thousands of these things at his uh, compound. Uh, they uh, 
used to have uh, Minute Maid orange juice in them. So they've been thoroughly pressure washed at the, at the company and uh, I'll be rinsing them out and sterilizing them myself. And then I'm going to be doing a water storage, water purification and water filtration video for the apocalypse. So that'll be coming out soon, so look for that. I'm going to show you all different ways to store your water, purify it, make your own purification solutions, filter it, make your own gravity filter system, the whole kit and caboodle. So I'm happy as punch. I finally got these big bad boys. Can't wait to clean them out and get them filled with the water before uh, the nukes start flying. Take care everyone, Northern Prepper out.